one day morning I come outside, I see bikes in the back, that's when I got along. When I saw the, the e-bikes, and then all, all over the news, you see that these e-bikes are exploding and they lighten up the whole block. Like, n- n- nobody's, nobody's safety he was concerned about. What up, y'all? It's Papa Z, and I'm back with another video. Breaking news in Queens, New York. 74 migrants were discovered in the basement of a furniture shop. According to the Department of Buildings, inspectors were called to the two-story mixed-use building on 132nd Street and Liberty Avenue Monday night after reports of an illegal conversion. Uh, No one knows how long they've been there. I'm I'm quite sure they've been there for weeks because the young lady that's outraged in the beginning of the video said she'd been calling for three weeks and never got a response. So thank God that the building needed an inspection and an inspector came and discovered those migrants sleeping in the basement. Cell phone video obtained by CBS2 shows a Queens basement filled with cots and migrants. They say there's no places to put the people. I've been going around the city and saw all these buildings that they built. And giving it to the city, I've talked to landlords, people who are saying that these buildings is for the city. And the city is saying that they don't have no place for these people. It's not true. Uh, I understand, you know what I'm saying, the, the owner, the building owner, he's a he's an African guy himself. And I understand that he felt sorry for his fellow Africans, but at the same time, it was it was opposing a danger to the community, especially with all the e-bikes that's been catching on fire lately out there. And, you know, it, it's, uh you got kids, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and people who are outraged about the situation with the migrant crisis anyway. So I know You've seen homeless people out there. You couldn't open your door or let them sleep down there uh, in the basement while it's cold. Answer me that question. You know? But I get it. Report says that you were charging those people $300 a month. So you have 74 men down there times three hundred dollars you know you 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 crying you know what i'm saying you say you feel sorry for the people which i get it but at the same time you was making some bread you didn't care about uh you didn't care about the the threat that was happening in that city I think he was cared more about the money. Now you crying because you got busted. So I'm not, you know, I don't I don't fall for just what I see. You know what I'm saying? Tears. They might have been tears of knowing that you're not finna make that money because they had to kick their asses up out of there. You know? But yeah, man, 74 people, that was a lot, man, in that little space, man. A lot. I could see if it was five, you know what I'm saying, to stay up under the radar, but 74, man, that's almost 100 people, 100 migrants. You know, what you should have been doing is telling them people, look, I'm sorry y'all made it out here and y'all thought y'all was going to get some type of American dream. I got my American dream, but I don't know about y'all, man. Y'all need to go back home or something. Because y'all going to mess up what I got going on out here. And guess what? That's what happened. So, you know, we don't know if you're going to lose your spot or they're just going to cite you out. But I hope this is a lesson learned, man. You can't just do what you want to do 
and try to overstep your boundaries by trying to help people. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to help. You, I understand you're trying to help, but at the same time, man, there's rules. You know? But anyway, I ain't going to talk too long. Um, I just wanted to come on here and uh, share this report. Uh, and uh, next time, man, don't listen to them excuses, man. Worry about yourself. Anyway, like I always say, protect yourself at all times. Keep your head on the swivel. God bless you and your family. God bless America. And I'm out. Papa Z, peace. They will be sleeping on the streets for days. So when they started coming to me, telling me their stories, I started helping them. Since they're not giving them places to stay, we will do this ourselves. There is no cooking, okay? Uh, we'll bring food, no cooking here. When you come, I'll make you sign an agreement that this is the rules here. You can do this over here because we don't want problems. Down in the cellar, they found illegally converted sleeping quarters with 14 bunk beds and 13 beds with inadequate plumbing and ventilation. A vacate order was issued. We have an obligation with DOB, FDNY, and all of our services to respond and take necessary action. That's what was done uh, last night, and we're still looking at exactly uh, what took place.